Hey everybody, and I'm Unclendora here, and welcome to another video of Anime Season 3, number 9. Let's get right into it. Number 9. If you haven't guessed by the if you haven't guessed by the clue, it's Wendy Marvell from Fairy Tale. Yes. Yes, I'm including a character from Fairy Tale. I've stated before, I am not a fan of Fairy Tale, nor will I ever be a fan of Fairy Tale. It is not my thing. I tried getting into it. I watched 200 and freaking 65 episodes, and that was o that's only like 12 episodes away from where they ended it. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah, apparently the anime is over. The anime's done. The anime's done. Looks like there's not gonna be in. Looks like there's not gonna be any more. Um. So. So yeah. So like I was just twelve episodes. I was just 12, 12 episodes away from that, but I don't care. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be watching it. It's not my thing. And um. Uh yeah, Wendy though, like I've stated many times before, Wendy is probably the best character in the series. Uh, she is the one who has the most growth as a character. Um, she just, she starts off as this innocent little girl, as this innocent, shy little girl, and through time, and, and even happy, innocent, shy, happy little girl, and over time you see her grow into maturity. You see, uh... You see her, uh, uh, not be as happy all the, not be as happy all the time. She still tries to stay upbeat and try to stay positive, but she's seen some shit at this point. She's seen shit, and so she's not always gonna, she's not always gonna be happy, and she's strong. She's not shy anymore. She's outgoing. She has friends. She's made so much progress. And yes, she was powerful when they first met her, but not nearly as powerful as she is now. She freaking has the freaking Dragon Force under control. She can use the Dragon Force, something that Natsu is still trying to figure out. And like, she is just so powerful. She is so powerful and like I love char I love characters uh I love characters like this where uh they're not a main char they're not a main character but the level of progression they get makes you wish they were a main character. Like I really wish Wendy was the main character like Kishimoto make a manga all about her or um, or like, what was it? Toei anim was it? Is it Toei Animation who's in charge of the fairy tale anime? Whoever it is, make an anime all about uh, Wendy. I want to see what kind of adventure she would go on. I want to see what kind of uh, missions she would do. Like, I I want to see more of Wendy. I couldn't care less about the story going on in actual fairy tale. I just want more Wendy. Like she is amazing. Like despite being so young, she's so powerful and she just kicks so much ass. And it, me, I don't care about age. I don't care about age because like it, seriously, it's Japan. It's Japan. It's Japan. You know they're going to have all their characters be like 13 to 16. Like, their characters are almost never going to be 18 or older. Um, so, I just, I really enjoy Wendy. I really enjoy her as a character. I think she's an amazing character. Best character in that series. And I just want to see more of her. I really want to see more of her. And, um... To this day, the only episode of Fairy Tale I ever actually go back and watch multiple times is 
uh, the episode in Tartarus where she unlocks the Dragon Force. That, um, that is just amazing. That is just amazing. I love that. I love that episode. I love that fight. Uh, she really, she really kicked some major ass. And, uh, yeah. So, <clears throat> that's it so that's it that's my number that's my number nine thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video all right take care everyone